Irvin, how are you feeling right now? You know, it's an uphill battle. You know, I'm, I'm understanding that uh, my life will never be the same. Irvin, so you were shot multiple times? Yes. As I was driving, I then felt impacted by uh, shrapnel or um, fragments from uh, the shooter shooting into my windshield. I looked at my chest and I was like, wow, that's there's blood and what what's hap what happened oh I'm, and then I look up and I see someone continuously to shoot I just know I needed to get away from this active shooter I know I was bleeding profusely I was holding my chest and of course I had multiple holes um, on my body when I uh, didn't hear any more bullets I ran into a store um, thinking that I'm gonna go in there hide and hopefully it passes by and I was like okay if I stay here very long, I'm gonna bleed out. So I did have a moment of, hmm, is, is laying here in a dressing room gonna be beneficial, getting aid and, and living, living further? You're representing Mr. Walker. Correct. And we've tried to get answers as to how many people were actually out there protecting uh, the customers on that day. Uh, Irvin's a very strong person. Uh, he smiles a lot. Uh, but he carries a lot. How has your life changed because of this? I don't think I'll ever be the same, emotionally and physically. I'm pretty scarred up. Um, uh, relatively, I'm happy though, I'm still here. And you mentioned it's still a long road to recovery. I'm going through outpatient therapy. I'm, I'm processing things emotionally, I'm getting some trauma therapy. How significant is faith in your life and how was it, how significant was it in that moment? My faith has gotten me through every adversity I've experienced. I have to lean and trust in his power and his aid through these events.